and movie. I know that's the proper word. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna be doing a lip swatch party for y'all today on these. These are the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipsticks. And these are how they're described. A honey-like texture ensures gloss clings to the lips with a latex shine. So that's kind of like what they're supposed to be like. So we're gonna do like I normally do in my lip swatch parties. We will run through the different colors. I'll show you swatches on my hand, show you swatches on my lips, and kind of like talk about just my thoughts and experience with the formula just kind of as I'm running through the colors. So let's get to it. So the very first shade is just a clear gloss I'm not going to show you that on my lips or in a swatch because it's just clear and this one is called girl on top so then the next one is called hopeless romantic and that's the color that I'm wearing right here and here it is right there don't mind the stain I couldn't get off my hand we'll cover that up in a second but this one is just a beautiful nude color I love this shade it's gorgeous now I want to quickly talk about the formula when I first put these on I wasn't sure about them because they are a thick formula. That description of a honey-like texture, they very much feel like honey on the lips. They're very sticky. They're a thick formula, but as I wore it, I love them now because you have, you have to like a sticky formula to like these because they're very sticky. But what I like about them is that they do stick to your lips. They stick around, they stay shiny, and they don't get all over my teeth. And I think it's because they're sticky. They actually stay on my lips and they don't move around. They're not super like liquidy and movey. I know that's the proper word, but that you know what I mean. They don't move a lot. They really do stick and stay there. So they don't get on my teeth. They don't um, move around all over my face. They don't wear off quickly. So I kind of keep that like shiny lip look for a long time. You just kind of have to be okay with the stickiness. Next is this beautiful nudie pink color. This is peekaboo. Here's what it looks like on my lips. And there it is in the swatch. So just like a beautiful everyday sort of a color. Now I will say about these, something else I've noticed is use the least amount possible to get the coverage you want because I think that makes them more comfortable and they don't like stick together when you talk quite as much. Just the more product you have on your lips, the stickier and heavier it's gonna feel. So if you can get like the thinnest layer possible, you'll still get the benefits of not moving all over your teeth, not moving everywhere, but then still sticking around on your lips with that beautiful shine all day. Next is a fun light bubble gummy pink. This one is Safe Word. So here it is on my lips. There it is in the swatch. So it's definitely bright and it's kind of that like, I don't know, springy Barbie sort of a pink, um, but it's on the lighter side, so fun, cute color there. Next one up is a fun coral. This one is Love You, Mean It. So here it is on my lips. Here it is in the swatch. So I really do like this one. You know, light corals and light peachy shades are ones that I don't typically go for and a lot of times they're not my favorites, but I've worn this one on my lips and I just really like it. Like I think it has um, kind of like a fresh, um, I don't know, feminine, uh, youthful look to it. It reminds me of like, it could totally go with the peach collection because it just has that kind of like light, fun, peachy look to it. Really cute color. So this one kind of surprised me. I like this one a lot. It's just a fun, happy pink. This one is Love You Long Time and it's just a beautiful kind of like light purpley magenta pink. It's just really, really pretty. Here it is in a swatch. Running out of room for swatches here so we're going to get a little bit cramped on this side, but I like that it has that kind of like purpley vibe to it. So it's kind of like a, an orchid pink, um, again, really feminine, fun, bright, um, but not like super, super duper neon, but still a fun statement lip. This one's a really fun shade too. This one is, but first lipstick. I love that name. Um, this one is a little bit more on the kind of like raspberry, um, Slightly, it's not red, but it's got more red in it than the last one. That one's more on the purpley side. So this one's a little bit more on the raspberry magenta side. So another fun, happy lip. This is the kind of color if I'm like waking up, having a bad day, and I just need something to brighten my day, a lip color like this will always help do that. Now, I don't know about this color on me. This one is rated R and here it is on my lips. And there it is in a very crooked looking swatch. <laughs> 
kind of on the inside of my hand there, but hopefully you can see it. Um, it's more of that like kind of like orangey coral. Um, I don't dislike it, but it's just not a color that I would reach for a ton on me personally, just because it's like so bright and orangey, but it is a fun, bright color, and I've seen this kind of color on other skin tones. I think it's really, really beautiful, so I think it's just a little bit shocking with my fair complexion. So there is that one, rated R. My precision in application is getting a little bit hairy at this point because these are difficult to remove because they really do adhere to the lips well. So, I mean, this is almost like a liquid lipstick lip swatch party. I mean, it's not the same texture, but it really does stick to the lips very well like those do. So please excuse my like sad looking application at this point. Okay, so this one is I'm Bossy, which is a really cute name. I love that one. This is a really beautiful red. And you know, it's very rare that I wear a glossy red lip, but I would do it with this formula. Um, I would make sure that I kind of like wipe out the, the middle part of my lips, like do the little finger thing. Um, but at that point, it really doesn't get on my lips. So not on my lips, on my teeth. It doesn't get on my teeth. So I would totally wear this, this fun, glossy red, beautiful, classic color. I really like this one a lot. This one's kind of like a purpley berry wine sort of a color, but a little bit on the rosy side too, like it's not super duper deep. This one is Hot Mess. So just a beautiful, fun color. I think this will be really fun for like the transition into fall because it's getting into a little bit more of a deeper lip color, but not super duper dark. So really fun color there. So we've got a really good range of shades so far. And we're about to get into some really like dark colors and then a couple purpley colors. My application sucks on this one, but hopefully you can still see the color. This one is Bite Me. And it's kind of like a like a brownie oxblood color. I really do like it. I would definitely need to like um, fix my application for sure. But I feel like it makes my teeth look really white and it's just kind of like a really fun edgy sort of a color. And I like that it's an oxblood, but then it has just more of that like chocolate brown tone to it. So really fun edgy shade. This is a different sort of color. This one is Strange Love. So while I definitely don't think this is the most flattering shade on me, um, I still kind of really like it because it's something different. It's kind of like a taupey gray brown color. So it's a lot more cool toned and a lot more on the gray side than um, a lot of other brown lipsticks that I see coming out. So that one's really just kind of something fun and different. This next one is Can't Touch This. So love the name. This one struggles though a little bit for um, even application. At least I struggled with getting even application with it. So it's kind of that like um, purpley sort of a deep wine color, but it's way more on the purple side. I just find that these sort of colors in lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, um, glosses, really just most things that I try in this color kind of struggle with getting that even um, just like same color looking application to it. So it looks a little bit uneven. I don't think it's super flattering on the lips. So I would definitely skip this one. This next one is by Felicia and it's just a fun grape purple sort of a color. So has a little bit of unevenness with the application, not as much as the last one, but just a little bit. So I'm sure that I could kind of even out if I kept like working at it a little bit more. Um, but this one's fun. Like, I don't think I'm going to wear this a lot. I don't really reach for purples very often, but if I do reach for a purple, I like this sort of a color versus I think the next one is going to be one that it's like a light purple. This one's more of that like if I'm gonna dip my toe into wearing a purple, this is kind of in the range of where I'll go for. So just a fun grapey sort of a color. Uh, yeah, this is the one that I was talking about. This one is Twilight Zone and holy moly, <laughs> this one is not good on me. I see people pull off these colors, but I'm not one of those people because it just makes my teeth look yellow and it's just, it doesn't work. But here it is. Um, in a swatch on my hand and on my lips. So this one doesn't work for me, but I do see other people pull off this color 
and it's in the range. So, you know, for like something fun and different, maybe like a Halloween sort of a makeup look, maybe I would wear it. Um, 80s party? I don't know. It's kind of fun. So Twilight Zone, definitely not one that I will get a lot of use out of, but there it is swatched. All right guys, so those are all the shades and I actually just threw on the clear gloss just to kind of help my lips a little bit and it's way less sticky than the colors. So that's just an FYI if you're looking for a nice clear gloss. This one is a lot less sticky feeling and actually you really, you know, don't need the stickiness with a clear one because the benefit of the stickiness is that it doesn't move around, it doesn't get everywhere, but that doesn't really matter very much with a clear gloss. So that's just an FYI. So yeah, those are all the colors. Who do I think would like these? Definitely people who are looking for like that sticky gloss that's gonna stick around. That's what this formula is all about. If you like the really comfortable um, sort of lip glosses that you might have to reapply 10 times throughout the day, but you don't mind that, if that's what you're looking for, these are not that. These are that sticky sort of a lacquer that's gonna adhere to your lips, keep that shine and not move around and not go away really quickly throughout the day. So I really like them for what they are, but just take that information and make that decision for yourself. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these. What do you think about them? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.